Hello. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download, install, and deploy an application to Payara Server, as well as a brief introduction to the new deployment groups. Before I begin, I'll be assuming you already have JDK 8 installed, as you'll need it to be able to run Payara. First off, open up your browser of choice, head to www.payara.fish, go to the Downloads page, and download the full version of Payara Server. To start it up, open up a terminal, console, or PowerShell, head to the directory you extracted it in, in my case it's in downloads, move into the bin directory, and run as admin, start domain. In this case, I'm going to give it the verbose option so that we can see the logs. This will start the default domain, domain1. As admin is the tool used to run commands against Pyara server. For example, to create a deployment group, we can run the create deployment group command, like so. The port that the admin console is deployed to hasn't changed since Pyara Server 4, so open up your browser again and head to localhost port 4848. First, let's check out the deployment group we just created. As you can see, it doesn't have any instances applied to it yet. So let's do that now. I'll also demonstrate creating a deployment group from the admin console, so you can see that you can create instances as you create the deployment group. You can also make an instance belong to multiple deployment groups, like so. Right, now let's start our instances. We can either start them individually from the instances page, or we can start all the instances in the deployment group like so. Right, let's now deploy an application. Click on Applications in the pane on the left, hit Deploy. Click Browse to find the file that you want to deploy. Scroll down to see all the options you can select. In this case, I'm going to leave them with the defaults. And then here, you can select the targets that you'd like it to deploy to. 
you get the option of all the instances you've created or the deployment groups, which will deploy it to all the instances in that deployment group. And that's it. The application should now be deployed to the two instances in deployment group one. You can test this by clicking on launch and navigating to one of your instances. That's all for now. Good luck.